Hi, my name is Stefan, I'm a pulmonologist, and in this video I'd like to discuss about causes of breathlessness. It's a common query that many patients have, and obviously this video does not represent medical advice in your case, but hopefully you'll find it informative to at least have a basis of discussion when you go see your doctor if you are suffering with breathlessness or if you're just curious about potential causes of breathlessness. So I'm going to aim to explain this as simple as possible, and I'm going to be covering seven main areas basically because it's not always lung related. So when people complain of breathlessness, they may be suffering with any of these issues. Now, when I will come to number five, when I talk about lung problems, obviously I will be talking about some other subcategories here because obviously the lungs may be the main cause of breathlessness for some people. And they, there can be many conditions that can cause breathlessness due to the lungs. But first of all, I'm going to start with number one, which is deconditioning. Now, deconditioning is the process in which there is a vicious circle of less and less activity, physical exercise, leading to muscle wasting. So basically, your muscles are not as strong enough, they adapt to the lack of physical activity. And that generally makes breathing worse when you go out and actually have to do something physical. So that can happen in many, many people. It can happen in individuals who have been hospitalized for a long time and they haven't moved basically for a long time. They've had potentially a broken leg, let's say, and they, they weren't able to, to walk as, to work as usual. So these can lead to deconditioning. It can also happen in young individuals who have very sedentary lifestyles. They work in offices all day, they're in front of a computer, they don't do much, much else. And basically when they try to do exercise, they feel breathless and that leads them to make uh, less and less exercise and it's a vicious circle. So deconditioning is a very, very important topic and I've placed it at number one because many people do not recognize that this can be a cause. So they go on this wild goose chase trying to find all kinds of fancy causes for breathlessness when it can actually be this in the first instance for many, many people. However, that doesn't mean that other conditions cannot be causing breathlessness. So I've, I've mentioned anxiety here because I think some people do find, I, well, I do find that sometimes people are very, very aware of how they breathe. And breathlessness is a subjective feeling. It's not the same for everyone. And sometimes if you couple this with anxiety, people may be panting a lot, they may be breathing, they may be having panic, panic attacks, and that can sometimes be uh, very similar to being out of breath because you are hyperventilating. So that can be, again, a problem that sometimes people need to deal with before they, we find other causes which are pathological in nature. I've put at number three ENT problems, so ear, nose, throat problems. So basically, sometimes individuals can suffer with chronic rhinitis, so basically inflammation of the inner lining of the nostrils, basically of the nose. And the nasal passages being narrow, it makes for a sensation of breathlessness for many, many people. So I think that's something that I, it's worth mentioning, especially if you are struggling with a blocked nose, with lots of secretions. It's worth discussing that with your doctor to see if the ENT problem itself could be causing breathlessness in your case. Four uh, on this list is basically heart failure. So heart failure, again, is something very common, especially in individuals over the age of 40, 50, 60 years old. And then it can cause breathlessness as well. In many individuals, that's the main cause of breathlessness. And it's something that is worth mentioning because the heart itself, if it's not well treated, especially after a certain age, if there's heart failure there, it can be the main cause of breathlessness. Now, when we come to talking about the lungs, here I want to talk, cover a number of things. So obviously the lungs are complex organs. We have airway diseases, first of all. Here I'm talking mainly about COPD, so chronic obstructive pulmonary disease which is a condition that occurs in individuals who potentially have smoked uh, for many years or have worked in uh, environments where they've inhaled a lot of dusts, fumes, uh, things like that. So individuals who suffer with COPD obviously will have a degree of breathlessness. The other airway condition that's really important to mention is asthma. So asthma obviously affects younger individuals normally than those with COPD. COPD generally occurs after the age of 40 or whereas asthma can generally occur in 
teenagers, children, then in young adults as well. But it can happen at any stage in, in life. But asthma is a condition in which breathlessness comes and goes. So it's variable from, from day to day, from different times of the day. So depending on various triggers in the environment, you can have breathlessness. And, you know, someone who has asthma will probably recognize the breathlessness caused by, by this condition because these are chronic conditions. Uh, so asthma and COPD are main major causes of breathlessness, obviously. The other thing would be chest infections. So someone who has a chest infection will generally feel breathless because the lungs are not working at full capacity. The other thing would be uh, potentially tuberculosis. So this is obviously not a problem in most countries, but in some developing countries, it can be a major cause of breathlessness. Also, in the active phase, when people have active tuberculosis and they are breathless, they're losing weight, they're coughing a lot. Uh, so this can, can be one, one of the causes, but also potentially in patients who have recovered from tuberculosis, but they have potentially lung scarring due to the tuberculosis, that can cause also breathlessness that's very, very hard to treat because the scarring doesn't really go away. Also, we have to mention um, situations in which there are pleural effusions. So these are instances in which there is some fluid collecting around the lungs within the pleural space. So the pleural space is basically the space between the lining of the lungs and the lining of the chest cavity on the inside. So basically there are these two membranes which are in contact by a very small film of fluid. But if this becomes more excessive for various causes, there are many causes for pleural effusions, it can compress the lung and basically there is will be a sensation of breathlessness. Now, within the pleural space, with it, between these two membranes, you can also get air, and that's called a pneumothorax. So a pneumothorax, again, if it's large enough, it will basically collapse the lung, and that will cause breathlessness, because the lung will not expand properly. Obviously, other symptoms can be found in those cases. I'd like to also mention the topic of interstitial lung disease. So these are basically conditions various, many, many conditions that affect the lung interstitium or the actual tissue within the lung. So if you imagine that the lung is a, like a big sponge, in between the air bubbles, you have this, these little, little membranes of tissue, which can become thickened. And this is normally when we discuss about interstitial lung disease, which can be caused by various, various things. One of the more common interstitial lung diseases that's that's been mentioned is idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. There can also be something called sarcoidosis. You can have various autoimmune conditions. These are conditions in which the body produces proteins against its own tissues, and then these can attack the interstitium, the lung tissue itself, and cause inflammation. And that obviously thickens those, those areas within the lung. The oxygen doesn't pass as well, leading to breathlessness. So there are many, many causes related to the lungs that can cause breathlessness. Now for number six, I've mentioned cancer. So cancer can be related to the lung as a primary cancer, primary lung cancer, or it can also be a metastasis from another cancer within the body. So that's, that means that basically a piece of tumor is growing in the lungs, but the original cancer may be somewhere else. It could be ovarian cancer, it could be breast cancer, etc. Cancer can also affect the pleura. So sometimes there can be a metastasis to the pleural space leading to an effusion, and then that causes breathlessness as well. But these are serious conditions, of course. And then there may be a lot of other problems uh, before the breathlessness comes on. Pulmonary hypertension is the last point on this list. This is when we're not talking about normal hypertension or high blood pressure here. We are talking about specifically high pressure in the artery that goes from the heart to the lungs. So that's something within the chest. You can't really measure that e easily. It is usually assessed with an ultrasound of the heart, so an echocardiogram, and that gives us the first indication whether the pressure is increased. There can be a lot of causes for this. Some of them we've mentioned before, such as advanced lung disease, advanced heart disease, previous lung embolism, things like that can cause pulmonary hypertension and obviously there are some drugs that can treat that 
uh, if that's the situation. But that can occur also without a known cause. So as you can see, these are a lot of causes that I've covered in this video. In your case, if you're suffering with breathlessness, it could be any of these or it could be something that I haven't mentioned here because obviously I don't have time to mention all the causes in one video and it would be very, very confusing. So because it can be so confusing, I really, really strongly suggest that if you are suffering with breathlessness, that you go and see your own doctor to get personalized advice in your case. Because you can see, you, you, you can be looking at anything really. Breathlessness is a very, very common symptom. It's very hard to give you a treatment specifically for breathlessness unless we know the cause first. So I really, really suggest that if you are struggling with this medical problem, to go see your doctor when you can, as soon as possible if the breathlessness is severe. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all the best and good health.